Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can find derivatives of inverse functions. Let us start with this example. If f of x is x to the 3 plus x, find derivative of f inverse at 2. For finding derivative of inverse of a function, we don't need to find the inverse of the function. There is a formula for finding derivative of inverse of a function. Derivative of inverse of a function is simply the reciprocal of derivative of the original function. So we have this formula. Derivative of f inverse is 1 over f prime. 1 over derivative of the original function. So it's very simple to find the derivative of inverse of a function. So in this example, for finding the derivative of f inverse, if we use this formula, the derivative of f inverse at 2 equals to 1 over derivative of the original function. What is the derivative of x to the 3 plus x? 3x to the 2 plus 1. Here you should be so careful. This is a little tricky here. A common mistake here is that maybe you think that you have to substitute the 2 for x because we have to substitute a number for x to find this value. But attention, the number 2 here is not x for the f of x this 2 is x but it is x for f inverse but here we need x values for the original function for f of x so you should not make this mistake to substitute that number 2 here for x the number 2 here is x but it is x value for f inverse, not for f of x. And we know that between f and f inverse, the x and y switches. Let me remind you what is the relation between function f and function f inverse. If function f maps number a to number b, then the inverse function maps number b to number a. As you can see here, for function f, a is the input, b is the output. But for inverse function, for f inverse, b is the input or is x value, and a is output or y value. So x and y or domain and range between x, between f and f, f inverse switches. So what we have to do here? We have to try to find the x value corresponding to this x value for f inverse. We know that if a number is x value or is input for f inverse, then that number is the y value or look at here b for f inverse is input but b for f is the output or is the y value so we use this number 2 here as the y value and we substitute that number for y as y here in function f and we try to find the x value corresponding to that y value. So, always you have to do this. You have to use this number and substitute that number for y here in the function, in the original function. So, we have to solve basically this equation. 2 equals x to the 3 plus x. By solving this equation, we can find the x value that we need to substitute here. So we have to solve this equation. 
But solving this equation is a bit hard because we have a polynomial of degree 3. We have x to the 3 in the right side. Instead of really solving this equation, maybe it's easier to just try to guess the value of x. What is the value for x that if we substitute here and here, that value when it raises to the 3 plus the value itself it equals 2. Look for a simple number. Do not try to guess unusual numbers. It's very simple number. What is the number that satisfies this equation? Probably you can guess that number. That number is 1. If we plug in 1 for x here and here, 1 to the 3 plus 1 is 2. So the solution of this equation is 1. And this equation has only one solution. Now this is the value that we have to substitute here for x. So never use this value because this is x value for f inverse. And when a number is x value for f inverse, that value is the y value for the original function. If we plug in 1 for x here in the denominator, then we have 1 over 3 times 1 to the 2 plus 1. 1 to the power of 2 is 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So the answer is 1 over 4. Let me show you another example so you can learn how to find derivatives of inverse functions better. If f of x equals e to the x plus x, find derivative of f inverse at 1. Again, remember, derivative of f inverse is always 1 over derivative of the original function. What is derivative of this function? Derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and derivative of x is 1. Again, don't make this mistake to plug in 1 for x here. This 1, again, is x value for f inverse. So it's actually the y value for this function. So we have to substitute 1 for f of x. The y value is 1. So we have 1 equals e to the x plus x. And from this, we can find the x value that we need for here. Again, solving this equation is not easy. So try to find the x value that makes this equals 1. Look for simple numbers like 1, 0, negative 1 and so on. Do not look for unusual numbers. The solution of these equations are usually very simple numbers. Can you guess what is x from this equation? If you attention, x is 0 because if you plug in 0 here e to the 0 is 1 x is 0 and so this this is 1 plus 0 which is 1 so the solution of this equation is 0 and so we have to plug in 0 for finding the derivative of f inverse so we have 1 over e to the 0 plus 1 and it equals 1 over 2 because e to the 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. Before I finish this video, let me show you why we can use this formula for finding derivative of f inverse or inverse of a function. We know that the composition of a function like f and its inverse, which we usually show it with f inverse or f to the negative 1, is the original input. We know that f of f inverse of x equals x. This is a fact that we know for a function and its inverse. f of f, f inverse of x equals x. 
Now if we use the chain rule for differentiating both sides of this relation with respect to x, we have f prime of f inverse of x. Let me remind you the chain rule. First, we have to take the derivative of the outside function. The outside function is f and the derivative of f is f prime and we leave the inside. Then we have to multiply this by derivative of the inside function. Inside function here is this function, which is f inverse. And derivative of f inverse is f inverse prime. And derivative of the right side, derivative of x is 1. So by using chain rule, we have this relation f prime of f inverse of x times y f inverse prime of x equals 1 now if we keep this here and we divide both sides by this we get this formula we have this formula for finding derivative of inverse of a function as you can see here derivative of inverse of a function is 1 over f prime 1 over derivative of the original function so derivative of inverse of a function is reciprocal of derivative of the original function I hope by watching this video, you have learned how to find derivatives of inverse functions.